uh, on the offense. They've got uh, two new coaches that came in from Kansas. Coach Bailiff has talked about they love their offense in 08 where they won 10 games, so we're not sure what they'll do. They've got three quarterbacks, and they're not naming one now. Uh, they've got Smith, the running back, from up at uh, Cedar Park, but they also have Sam McGuffey, a transfer from Michigan. Uh, so we're just not really sure what we will see on offense. Uh, they've sold, it's, uh, Rice sold the game to Reliant, but there's been over 56,000 tickets sold, and they will have uh, Conference USA officials. Questions? Coach, uh, 13th year, where's the confidence level? I know in 05 you were very confident preseason. How do you feel going into the 2010 season, your 13th year? Today? I'm personally very confident about this team and what they can become. Uh, the question will be uh, their chemistry, um, their motto, every play every day, are they going to do that? Or will it be a team like in 06 and in sometimes in 07 early that played up and down? So all of us can sit here and look at all the pieces. All the pieces are there. The experience isn't there, which we're not as concerned about. Uh, we can really run, but they, they can't play with complacency. They have to be excited every time they go out there. This is not a team that can win if we're not ready to play. So we, we, we will know that on Saturday. We'll, we'll see. So I'm, I'm waiting to see. Uh, this team's responded to everything very well. Will they respond on Saturday to being excited about the game and, and then the 7th and 8th and the 9th and the 10th game when it gets more like a, a professional schedule, um, will they still be playing with the same enthusiasm? Yes, it, it, it tells me that uh, with the change in rules and they can come in in January – and you get them in June, that you can sign freshmen that are good enough to play. That wasn't the case probably five or six years ago. Um, they could be good enough, but they weren't as prepared. Now, if they go through uh, spring it, and summer, it's like a redshirt year. Even summer is a redshirt year for some of these guys. And the guys that aren't on this list either probably – uh, got caught up in uh, a depth chart issue where there were too many guys at their position, or they got caught up in, in wanting to redshirt. Some guys just want to redshirt, and they say, Coach, I'm not ready for all this. Or they get really tired during camp. Uh, but we do feel like that there's not a miss, uh, a sure miss in this group, which is unusual. As hard as evaluation is when you don't get to coach them and you, we can't even see them a lot, um, <clears throat> we do feel like that uh, everybody in this group has a chance to play. We felt like in high school that Cody Johnson could, had, had a tremendous upside because of his power and his strength and a, his speed. He, he can catch. He can pass protect. He's a smart football player. He's had good ball security. Uh, it, it, weight is a problem, and, and it's one that he's fought for two years. I mean, everybody fights it. It's a, uh, you know, unless God gave you good genes for not fighting it, you fight it. And, and uh, he just decided this spring and this summer that he was going to take that out of the equation and give himself a chance to play. And, and he's looked really good. I, I hope he does the same on Saturday. I do want to tell everybody our philosophy hadn't changed. We just want to run the ball better when we run it. Everybody's talking about we're, we're going to line up and run it every play. That's not going to be the case. We're going to do whatever we need to do to win. And we'll still throw the ball. We'll have no huddle uh, the whole game. We'll be up-tempo. Uh, we want to be wide open. Uh, but we want to be able to run the ball and not lose yards when we hand it off. Well, this is the first fair start for him, too, because it's been his team since uh, spring practice. So coming out of the national championship game, he's worked very, very hard to make good decisions and drop the ball off and, and lead his team. So he's got a lot on his plate right now, and I'm sure his head will be spinning some by Saturday. Uh, but uh, I think it's a good challenge for this team to go on the road and, and um, have to play an opener out of their comfort zone for the first time ever. Uh, so I, I'm excited about watching him play. It's funny, Colt has uh, told him many times, be yourself. Don't do anything else but be yourself. Yourself's good enough. And that's what we will tell him. As, as you, you've waited on this uh, your whole life, one of the players showed me a picture yesterday of, of him looking up to Major. Um, and shoot, I feel real old now if Garrett was that little when we were here. Uh, but he is, uh, uh, we want him to have fun. 
this has been a dream for him. So to, to live your dream, you got to enjoy yourself and enjoy the moment. Not everything will work great. He's going to have some problems, but the way you overcome the problems is the, the way you win. Win. That's all that matters. We get into all those stats and all that other thing. If you win the game, then you get to move to game number two. And that's it. If you lose the game, you take a huge setback. And then you you all over the place kind of starting over to figure out what went wrong. But if he will win, the natural progression is that a good team gets much better by the end of the year than they are at the beginning. And early games usually aren't pretty. The only really pretty game everybody thought we had out here, I think we beat – New Mexico State, 66 to 7 or something one year out here. And, Lord, they had eight turnovers. Everybody's excited. I thought we stunk. But they helped us so much. So uh, I just want to see us line up and be fundamentally sound and have fun and, and um, execute and, and be aggressive for 60 minutes. That's, that's what we're looking for. Well, we have it. We the the biggest um, decisions we have to make this week are playing time, and that's with a freshman. You don't know how he's going to respond. You don't know if he'll hyperventilate. <laughs> you don't know if he if he has to come off the field the third play um, because he just hasn't been in that situation. So uh, offensively, we'll have to formulate. Uh, I mean, we'll have our game plan formulated. Defensively, we'll have to formulate a game plan during the game. Even their three quarterbacks, two are are athletic guys that can run the option and throw, and, and one is more of a drop-back traditional passer as a quarterback. So we won't know for sure who's going to play till Saturday. But trying to figure out how many plays a guy can play, when do you put him in, do you put a, a second-team offensive line in early in the game? We've done that in our past. Uh, we've just got to look at that now and see if we feel like that's something we can do. Uh, what do you do with Case? When does he go in the game? I mean, it's do you put him in early to try to get him experience? There's a, a lot of unsettling things this week that we probably won't decide till Thursday or Friday. Yeah, I know. That's why I look tired. A couple more questions. So is there a little concern, though, with all the Yes, lots of concern. What about, uh, about the youth? Yeah, I, I, you know, youth is an excuse, though. These guys are good players. And they just need to go play. It's our it's our job to get them in the right places. It's our job to teach them what to do, and then they'll get the experience. But I, I don't worry about them. I'm, we're turning them out there and let them go. Coach Austin has a lot of questions going into the game. If you could have one unit play as well as you could ever have them play, which one would you pick? Oh, special teams in this game. Field position, special teams. If your special teams can gain points in field position, the rest of it usually works by itself because that's the hardest one to do full speed. You can scrimmage, but you don't want Aaron Williams and Curtis Brown getting knocked out catching punts, and and you, you don't want your starting punter to get hit if somebody's trying to block the punt. So it is harder to, to get game speed type reps in the kicking game in preseason than anything else. Backs have been hit, receivers have been hit, balls have been stripped, passes have been intercepted, the quarterback doesn't get hit. But other than that, you can scrimmage, so you can have a game. The kicking game, it's very difficult to do. So that's the thing that I would say on this one. Um, if we come out and say our kicking game was really good, we've probably had a good day. Matt, you mentioned you want six receivers. There are five on here. Is there six and seven guys that you want? Well, yes, you've got uh, Deshaun Hells and um, uh, Darius White that both will play. It's just there will be a certain rotation to start the game, and then we'll figure out how to put the others in. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys.